Hi guys, welcome back. It is late October and that is when I start changing things over for Christmas. I know that's not normal, but it is for my house. So I'm starting with my china cabinet. I love that simple farmhouse feel. And once you guys start seeing the rest of my decorations, you'll see how this china cabinet ties into everything else. So I start by cleaning the cabinet off really well, take everything off and clean it and then I choose my plates. I have a few different varieties of Christmas dishes, but I really like these with the Christmas trees on them, and so I place those on the earthquake gum that I have on the back of my china cabinet, uh, and just start by placing those. That's gonna give me my, my start. Okay, so I like to mix dishes. So I choose this one that has holly around it. All of the plates are have a, a gold trim around the very edge. So that kind of ties them together and of course the Christmas colors. So I choose this holly covered plate and put it up on the next row. And I don't always do this, but I did line the plates up four on the bottom and then four on the next row, kind of right on top of each other. Um, and like I said, I don't always do that, but that's how I wanted to do it this time. And I have these little plate stands that I have an idea for. So, but first I put my doily down because any plates that are gonna be stacked in front, I'm gonna have to have that doily down first. So I place these plate stands up on the top shelf and put a plate on each one and kind of see how I like it and I do like it. So I decide to bring that a smaller Christmas tree plate up and set it right in front. I just, I really kind of felt like it needed that Christmas tree design up so everything kind of tied together. And of course, I need a doily down at the bottom too. I thought about using some sort of rustic runner, but I, I don't know, I just, I wanted that soft doily look. Um, you know how I like shabby chic stuff. These two small branches came off of an old Christmas tree. And so they've got that metal hook in there, but, but that's okay. Um, I can really shape these and I want them perfectly flat. And I'm just gonna flatten them both out, make sure they're nice and, and like a fan, I guess. And I'm just gonna lay them on top of that doily, um, kind of spread out evenly. I have a soup terrain that I want to put right on top of it. And I like how this looks for now, but I change things so much. I could change this probably 10 times before Christmas. So if I do, I will show you guys. <laughs> okay, so I got these small tins from the Dollar Tree last year and they, they're both different, but they're the same size. And I'm actually gonna use them to prop up two rustic looking birdhouses that look like log cabins sort of. But when I shut my my doors, you're not gonna be able to see that tin under there. So I'm not worried about that, but I needed to raise up those birdhouses enough to be able to see them. So in case you're wondering why I'm using those tins. <laughs> and my son actually gave me this teapot one year for Christmas and because I collect teapots and anything tea related. So I, I really thought that it would look good there. I love it my LED or LED lantern that I got from True Value. I have to add that and I don't know, I just felt like I wanted to add a couple more of the smaller plates with the Christmas tree. It just needed something there. You know how I am, if it's not full enough, I'll just keep adding. And this is actually a place where I struggle. I like uh, a little bit more of a minimal look for the farmhouse feel. So it's hard for me to not to keep adding to it, which I love, I love it. And I might do that later. 
Um, and I do have a video on how to make those wooden spoons if you're interested in that. Um, and then I, I wanted to add the teacup and saucer. The saucer with this set of dishes is a little bit bigger and it was just a little too big for up there. So kind of tried it down below. I don't know. I just wasn't, I wasn't liking how it looked. It didn't feel right to me. So I ended up just using the cup and I thought it looked really good right in front of those plates. Just one cup. And I added some um, these pomegranates, I guess. I got those from the Dollar Tree for from fall. And I really liked them in with my Christmas stuff. Uh, I had this cream and sugar that I kind of try out here. I end up moving it because I don't like it. Um, just kind of adding things until it has that full enough look to me where I feel satisfied that it's um, good enough at least for now like I said I can change this 10 more times before Christmas if not more <laughs> um, but yeah like I said I, I just didn't feel like I liked the cream and sugar there so took it down I had gotten some four little dessert cups and I, I do have the matching drinking glasses and smaller cups that do match uh, I think I'm going to use those, and I have more of the same dishes, I think I'm going to use those on my corner hutch and just have the same dishes in my dining room that's on my china cabinet. So if you guys want to see a video of me decorating the, the corner hutch as well, let me know. Um, I'm going to be taking you guys through little by little. Uh, as I'm decorating and I can't wait. I can't wait to get everything up and show you. So anyway, this is where I've started, like I said, on my china cabinet. I hope you guys like it as much as I do. If you do, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. That keeps YouTube's algorithms happy and it suggests the video to more viewers. So anyway, I will talk to you guys next time. So have a great day. Bye-bye.